Greetings viewers, it's Rick here from Rick's Automotive. If you drive a second generation 2009 to 2015 Honda Pilot, there's a good chance your center console's armrest looks like this one. It's all torn and falling apart. Now typically this repair from Honda requires a replacement of the entire top lid. I've got an alternative for you. So for the Honda Pilot, the same type of material that's on the lid for the center console, um, you'll find it on the doors, on the passenger door, as well as the driver door uh, panel right here. This is where your elbow would typically rest against if you were sitting in the car driving. Um, as you can see, these look great, but these do wear just like the center console lid. And I found a company that sells just the replacement leather for both the console lid as well as the door inserts. I have the replacement pieces here. As you can see, they come in a black as well as a light gray. Uh, the pieces on the outside of the bag, these are for the door armrests. And this big piece here is for the central console lid. I'll take this out of the bag in just a minute. Now, from a quality standpoint, just want to zoom in here. They are double stitched along the seam here for strength. Now, I am no leather expert, but I will say the uh, quality of this appears to be superior to what the manufacturer put on the car when they made it. Um, this actually looks like leather, uh, not vinyl. So, uh, and they also claim that this is waterproof leather. So, set that aside. We're gonna go ahead and replace this center console lid leather, and I'm gonna go ahead and go take you that by step by step. And first, we'll start by removing the center console lid. To remove the center console lid, you just need a Phillips screwdriver, and you'll find four Phillips screws. The four screws removed, we can separate the bottom half from the top half. To do that, we'll take our right hand, pull up on the lever that usually locks it in place. Take our left hand, slide it in between, and pull towards the front of the car gently. It'll probably make a popping sound. Yep. That's okay. We'll set that aside. Uh, next, we've got four Phillips screws on the bottom base on the bracket. We'll remove those next. Once this is removed, the lid will come right off, like so. Now with this lid removed, we're going to take the top handle off here. Now you can see there's two Phillips screwdrivers, so we'll go ahead and take those off next. Two Phillips screwdrivers, two Phillips screws. We'll go ahead and take those off next. Got those two Phillips screws and handle removed from the lid. The next thing I'm going to do is unbag the new leather. Have the new leather removed from the bag. And just like the pieces we looked at earlier for the doors, this is also double stitch across the seam for strength. Now this does look a little different than, let me grab one of these pieces here. This is the door piece we looked at earlier. This actually uh, appears to be leather. Like again, I, I mentioned I'm not a leather expert, but it looks like it's some form of a leather or synthetic leather. Uh, this also looks like it's a synthetic leather or leather, but the back sides suggest that it might be a, a vinyl type leather. It actually feels a little different in texture, uh, but still nonetheless it looks much better than the factory. As you can see here, this is the factory. It just, it's just thin. Let me pull a piece of this off here and see. And it's just like, like a rubber band. It's just and this is much, much thicker. See the thickness on that piece versus the thickness, thickness here. So we're gonna go ahead and set that aside for a minute. Next step what we're gonna do is remove the old vinyl leather from the console lid. Got the old leather removed. This is what it looks like. This is the top of the lid there. So we'll leave, we'll leave this part on. This is the foam. We'll leave that on. You can see underneath here, there's still some staples left and I'm gonna leave those on um, if I can. Uh, if it overlaps, I'll take off the ones I need to. Uh, just be very careful when you do this though. These are very sharp and they'll, they'll catch you pretty easily. Uh, but the next thing I'm gonna do is install the new cover onto the lid. Put the new leather on. We wanna make sure that this little notch here, you can see that in the notch lines up 
So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little notches here. You want to make sure it lines up with the middle, the middle notch. That'll keep you centered. And you also want to make sure that we've got enough material on the back side here where this can roll over, which it does. And this is the side where that little, where the uh, handle was we took off. You'll notice it kind of curls over there, so that way you know that that's on the right side as well. Got a new cover installed. I did have to pull and tug a little bit when I was uh, installing that to get the leather to, to stretch out quite a bit. That's all done. So what I used was a staple gun. And to make sure I used the right size staple, I went ahead and measured the old staples that I took out. And as you can see here, those are six millimeters. So the deepest or tallest staple you're going to use is six millimeters. I'm, I'm assuming they did that so when you put the staples in, they don't come through the other side there. So uh, definitely don't want that to happen. But I'm going to go ahead and put this thing on. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Center console lid is on. All the fasteners are tight. You know, the finished product actually looks pretty good. Now, I'm typically a uh, all OEM all the time uh, when it comes to parts. Uh, but for a uh, budget, less expensive repair, I think this is acceptable. It actually looks, uh, looks really good. Remember, it comes in black, comes in gray. I think anybody that has the ability to use a, a screwdriver and a staple gun and uh, certainly uh, possesses some patience can, can get the job done. It takes about an hour and a half or so. Uh, by the time it was all said and done, we had to stretch the leather out. and um, That part was probably the most challenging part, but I think, uh, you know, certainly I think most anybody can do it. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below this video uh, for the product for you to purchase. And hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.